being a stevedore is a very, very highly skilled trade. Uh, you could work on pipe as big as a hundred inch and work on pipe as small as a quarter inch. Stevedore has uh, multiple uh, tasks, whether it's uh, welding, soldering, we do air conditioning, refrigeration, we do uh, oil piping, we do hydraulics, we do uh, pneumatic tubing. So it's uh, in our trade, we cover many aspects of, of performing tasks on a construction job. We also have a division in our service site. Besides our members building and putting the equipment in and getting that building started, we have a service division that keeps that uh, building alive. The steam fitters have, uh, Local 638 has a um, five-year apprenticeship program. So when you come in year one, you start your apprenticeship program. After that five years, uh, you come out as a journeyman mechanic, fully qualified to do any aspect of our trade. Our students right now come to school once every two weeks, and uh, it's in the, uh, the classrooms themselves, or brought down to the shop here, either the welding shop, the brazing shop, or our uh, sprinkler shop. But uh, it takes a full five years of rigorous training uh, in the classroom and, and in the shops itself. The advantage that we have over the non-union world is that we are able to supply a qualified workforce. In my opinion, the difference in the quality is not having to come back and fix it three or four times. And in the world that we live in today, with the, with the focus on the green economy and green buildings and safe buildings, uh, that's what the owners want. They understand when they're going to come into a building and if they're planning on building a 40-story building, that we have the ability to complete that building maybe six months before a non-union contractor could do that. That's optimum when they're talking about occupying that building, collecting rents, and letting that building, as I said before, become a living, breathing part of the uh, fabric of New York City.